If you want to build a castle like this in Grounded, you're going to need a lot of mushroom bricks. Mushrooms can be found all over the backyard, or you can grow your own. In this video, I'm going to show you all the mushroom and toadstool locations in Grounded, and how to make mushroom bricks. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so so you don't miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. In order to make mushroom bricks, you're going to need mushroom slurry. To make mushroom slurry, you're going to need one of three ingredients. You're either going to need the white mushrooms that you're probably familiar with around the map, you're going to need mushroom chunks or you're going to need toadstool chunks. The mushroom chunks and toadstool chunks were added in the Shroom and Doom update and they're now harvestable. So we're on top of the baseball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the each, what each of the different resources looks like when you're walking around the map. So you're probably familiar with these little white mushrooms. These are around the map. They can spawn. There is a couple locations around the mysterious machine where they're just sitting by themselves. But typically you're going to find them underneath the toadstools or, mushroom, or the larger mushrooms. This red... The red mushroom looking things are the toadstools. So you, these you can just grab. In order to cut down the toadstool, you're gonna need the level two ax, which is the insect ax. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna chop it. You're gonna hit it a couple times. And it's gonna drop you the toadstool chunks. So those are toad, toadstool chunks. And real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over to a mushroom, the large mushroom, and show you what those look like. Okay, so I made my way over to what the large mushrooms look like. So the large mushrooms are gonna look like this. And as with the toadstools, what you're going to do is you're going to cut them down with the insect axe. So we're just going to chop it a couple times. And these are going to give us mushroom chunks. So we got one. It's like two. And also while I'm over here, I'm going to show you this is the, in my, like, there, there's no doubt about this. This is the best place to get mushrooms and to harvest them. I counted these up. I've harvested them a couple times. In this one spot, there's 102 little white mushrooms, plus all these large mushrooms that you can cut down. The only downside to this area is it is actually surrounded by spiders. So on the map, I'm sitting right here. I made the, I marked this one blue. So we're on the bottom of the map down here, underneath the, the deck. So the hedge is here. This is underneath the deck. There's actually a wolf spider spawn here, a wolf spider spawn here, and a wolf spider spawn over here. So I definitely recommend coming over here probably... A couple hours after you wake up so you wake up i think it's around six six o'clock in the morning so maybe around like eight or nine is going to be when it's probably safe because as i was walking over here i just saw the wolf spider right here going to sleep so typically the wolf spiders will sleep during the day i definitely do not recommend coming over here at night unless you want to fight some wolf spiders or unless you've just uh maybe you fought them recently so they're not going to be there they, they haven't respawned yet but it's safe to it's actually safe to harvest these so the wolf spider is actually around here sleeping we're not going to bother him he's over there sleeping you can walk over here and harvest all this stuff without any issues. All right, so now that you know what the mushrooms look like, the large, the large and the small mushrooms and the toadstools, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to the castle because that's where I have my oven and grinder. I'm going to show you how to make the mushroom bix. And also while we're over there, I'll show you the, other, the last way you can actually get mushrooms. So let's head on over there real quick. As I mentioned in the intro, in addition to being able to collect mushrooms and the toadstool chunks and mushroom chunks around the map, you can also grow your own mushrooms. So as you can see here, I have set up nine of these mushroom gardens here. Now these will, you can harvest these and they should grow back within less than a day. So typically once a day, you're gonna be able to gather these. So in all honesty, I'd probably recommend using these in addition to finding the mushrooms and toadstools around the map because these grow every day while the mushrooms around the map and the toadstools and the large mushrooms typically take i think it's about four or five in-game days i'm not exactly sure it's at least three in-game days but it might be as much as four or five in-game days so in addition to those i would definitely recommend supplementing your mushroom gathering with some mushroom farms if you're able to do so so i made my way over back over to my castle and what you're going to need to make mushroom bricks is you're going to need the grinder and you're going to need the oven these were also added in the shroom and dune update what the grinder allows you to do it allows you to make mushroom slurry so you can refine either the mushrooms, the mushroom chunks, or the toadstool chunks. One mushroom will give you two mushroom slurry, one mushroom chunk will give you six mushroom slurry, and one toadstool will give you 10 mushroom slurry. So toadstools are obviously gonna give you the most. So when, when possible, make sure you gather those up if you're trying to make mushroom bricks. So what you can do is I'll just put these in here. We're not gonna wait because it's gonna take a little bit of time. So you can just plop them in there. You can do up to four and you can do four of a kind or mix and match, whatever. So these will turn into mushroom slurry. We have mushroom slurry right here that I already made. So we're going to take this out. And what you need to do is you need to put the mushroom slurry in here. So in order to craft two mushroom bricks, you need five mushroom slurry. So it's going to take quite a bit of mushroom, mushrooms and mushroom slurry to make a castle this size. 
So the last thing I wanted to do was I want to show you the map because we did go around and mark off every place on the map that you that has mushrooms. And what I did was I color coded them. So the white here, which is around the mysterious machine, you're going to find the little white mushrooms growing by themselves with no toadstools or large mushrooms growing around them. So these will respawn every couple in game days. And then in addition to that, we have the the red, which is the red. These are the toadstools. The toadstools also grow. They kind of mostly grow in the center part of the map. But there's also a couple over here where there's these orb weavers and bombardiers are over here. And there's mosquitoes. So these are probably the safest to gather, the ones in the center. And then the orange, which are, there's one over here. There's one up here. And I think, there, yeah, there's one over here by the birdbath. These are the large mushrooms. And then the blue one down here is the one that I showed just a minute ago. This is where there's the hundred white mushroom, the hundred little white mushrooms, and the uh, the large mushrooms, the large regular mushrooms. So the, I wanted to mark this a different color just so I remember where it was. So there's a couple of uh, large mushrooms on the map. These also have the little white mushrooms that grow underneath of it. And then over here, these are also mushrooms. I marked them brown because this is the haze area. Now, if you're not aware, the haze area has actually been increased in size with the Shroom and Doom update. So this is the rake over here. The haze used to be like back where this line was. It is now is actually and has engulfed, I think, most of the rake and at least half of the large rock where the bombardier beetles are. So in order to get these mushrooms, you're going to need to have a gas mask and probably might actually need two gas masks if you're trying to harvest all these. There is a ton of large mushrooms in here. I've not every one, not every one of these is a single one. Some of them, there's two or three or four or five. So the place where there's the most mushrooms, large mushrooms is going to be in the haze, but that's going to be a little bit harder to, to gather. So my recommendation for what to do is to go down to this area here under the picnic table every like four or five in-game days because I think that's how long it takes from the respawn. You'll be able to get 102 of the little white mushrooms plus a ton of large, of uh, the mushroom chunks. And then also make your own garden so that you're able to grow some on your own because they grow back every day. So if you can actually make a huge, if you can actually make a large um, mushroom garden area with maybe like 10 or 20 of them, I know that's a lot of resources, but if you want to build out a lot out of mushroom bricks, it's probably going to be worth your while to do that because that's going to be the fastest way to get them. But like I said, in addition to that, you're definitely going to want to supplement that by as you're exploring the map, going around and picking up these mush, the toadstool chunks, the mushroom chunks, and the little white mushrooms. So don't you can actually eat all of them. That's one thing I forgot to mention. They don't fill that much health up, so they're probably like the actually the worst health, uh, food source in the game. So I wouldn't recommend eating them. I recommend just using them to build out of. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help the channel out and it gets this my videos out to more viewers just like you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.